Okay, we'll show you how to run the ProMaster dry washer, the puffer style. First thing he does is get the battery hooked up, get it started. Pour your material in the top, in the Grizzly. Don't worry about it. You can keep pouring in there as long as you want. That material will come down. It's going to fill that first riffle. Open it up, let a little more material fill. There you go. As the material flows down, as each riffle fills, you get more and more action. We're starting to fill the third riffle. The thing that happens is until you get it all full, the air takes past the least resistance. Now, you notice how much better action we have? That's the correct angle that it should be running at. The dirt does need to be totally dry, as with any puffer style dry washer. Notice that each time that bellows shuts, you see the dirt jump up over the ripples. The gold gets shook to the bottom and gets locked on your blue riffle cloth. Zoom in so you get a little better view of the at this point you can see how well it's puffing. If it runs out of material at the top, all the air come out of the top. I'd go ahead and pour more in, Tom, it won't hurt a thing. That way the machine will continue to work. It will handle about as much material as you can put through it. The chances of losing gold are so slim it's not even funny due to the fact that you're building a static charge on the riffle cloth. The gold is being lifted over the riffle. The sand is. The gold is being locked to the cloth by the static electricity. Notice how the stuff gently flows over each one of the ripples, just like water in a sluice. Now, as you run out of material, notice how much lighter your action's getting. The air's starting to come out of the top riffle between the, the splice plate and the top riffle. That's the path of least resistance. It does not hurt to let it run before you do a clean out. Notice it's still lifting, still knocking dirt off the end. There's no way the gold can get out because it can't pick the gold up over the riffle. We're going to shut it off. Tom will show you how to go about cleaning it out, catching your gold. Remember, the gold's on the bottom. He's not losing any gold. You want a gold pan to put under there, Tom? Normally, we put a gold pan there. He's going to put the five gallon bucket there this time, which is fine. Slide your tray down into the bucket or into your gold pan. Bring it up. Any gold would have been on that cloth, you just dumped it down in there. Now I'll pull your little blue red cup out of there. And if there's any gold that got down inside it, which you can suck some very fine gold through that riffle cloth, there's a little red plastic plug in there that Tom's going to pop up. Take that, dump it in your concentrate, and now you have seen how to run the ProMaster Puffer Style Dry Washer.